Roman Reigns is so dominant, so powerful, so nice. dangerous. He's an unstoppable physical force that backs down. Boom! <laughs> oh, it's over. Adam Cole, this is going to be big. Tell me about it. PDT! But he's got to capitalize now. That just echoed throughout this entire arena. He might have it. Byron, he looks like he has no idea where he is. Yeah, he is definitely on Dream Street, Michael. He's in a vulnerable spot now, guys. Look at him. He's wide open for attack. Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. Yeah. Sure, he's taking some punishment here, but given how much he prefers to be on the outside of the ring, he can very well change the outlook of the match with one shot. I know it's early, but if things stay the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. You've got to believe this one's over. Can he finish the job? Let's see that again. Definitely worth a second look. Beautiful technique. Perhaps a power bomb here, Corey. That certainly seems to be the case. Here's the cover. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Despite what Byron Saxon said about him... Ain't no stopping me! No! Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. Ooh, what impact. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Beautiful neck breaker. That could be it. Here we go. Oh, man. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. In position for a power bomb, and that's not a good place to be, Cole. Into the power bomb position now, and that's not necessarily where you want to be at this point in the match. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match, but what I think oftentimes gets overlooked 
is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. Boom! Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. You've got to believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Thunderous slam. What a match! Nailed it! This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Look out! Cedric Alexander really seems to thrive when it comes to tournaments. In 2016, he had a classic match against Kota Ibushi in the Cruiserweight Classic. Two years later, a tournament got him in a championship match at WrestleMania. And gentlemen, Shelton Benjamin may be fading away here. Byron mentioned Cedric winning his way to WrestleMania in 2018 via the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. I'd argue that he had the toughest road to WrestleMania. I'm not going to argue with you, Cole. I mean, he took on the Cruiserweight Classic runner-up, and then the guy that won the Cruiserweight Classic, and then Roderick Strong, and then Mustafa Ali, and then he finally won the Cruiserweight Championship. You know, an Extreme Rules match is going to be dangerous going in, but I don't think anybody anticipated it being this dangerous. I'll tell you what, this is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Worker's School, that's for sure. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. And Cedric Alexander oh. has really taken a pounding. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. So many bad things can happen outside the ring, and given his condition right now, he really needs to keep it inside the ring if he wants to win this thing. Cedric needs to find that willpower he's known for. Out. And he misses the mark. Talk about a rough landing. Looks to me like these superstars are running on fumes right about now. Incoming. When this guy's on, look out. Back now inside the ring.
Boy, these superstars have been through it all here in this Extreme Rules match. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's got to hurt. How are these superstars even still going, guys? I mean, they have to be on fumes right now. I can't believe everything that's transpired this far. It's been so physical. Not so fast. This might be it. Oh, my. Nice plant. That's how you put an exclamation. He's got him covered. Two. Whip. Oh, look at the scoop slam. Cedric Alexander looking to take the to lumbar check. That should do it. Wow, let's see that again. Man, he is simply a walking highlight reel. Alexander's looking to end it. Might be too late. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how much he has left. Getting it done. Oh boy, he is rolling. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. Going all the way up. Look at this. We got a cover. Two, three. Yeah, that's me just put the rest of the match. I had to be on my one because Danny wanted it to be like a fucking two minute video. And, uh,. I might seem bold and new and shit editing that, but it's going to get better. It's just because we've just started this and hopefully it'll get better. And the pay-per-views, we'll try to figure out how to do them because obviously...